Okay, so you guys keep hearing me talk flawless floor, flawless floor, flawless floor, flawless floor. Get it. You guys, I cannot stress this enough how amazing this deal is because this is free in this month's kudos. Now, it is supposed to be available for the entire month, but we are, we do have a history of going viral and selling out. Um, if you are not able to, to buy it within the month, you're not going to get the promotion of getting this free. So, in this month's kudos, the Flawless 4, which includes the primer, mineral face and eye primer. It actually comes in a black tube. Now, this thing lasts for so long, like, I still have the original packaging because you need a pea size for your entire face and eye. So, the mineral primer, the liquid, liquid to powder foundation awesomeness, the concealer that I can even cover my black ink tattoo, and the brush. This is an absolutely must-have for this. If you want to get the best results for this, you need to have the brush. So, this one's kudos. Seriously, get it. So, I'm going to do half of my face. You guys can see my little imperfections. And usually, I do like a pea size for my entire face. So, I guess that's more than for half a face. But, we'll just leave the rest for when I leave. And, we put this on. I like to kind of press it in. Eyes forehead. Um, you want to leave this on for about five minutes. We're going to pretend that's five minutes, okay? We're going to pretend that's five minutes. When you first get your liquid to powder foundation, it does say to shake. However, I'm going to want you to open it, empty the dropper, close it, and then shake it. Because a lot of the times product gets stuck in the dropper and you don't get to shake it all up. So you shake it real, real good. You get your liquid to powder foundation brush. And this is in the shade Organza. And I'm going to do, I usually do four drops for my entire face, but we're only doing half a face, so we're doing two drops. And we're going to go right here. And just dab everywhere. Okay. Now, this is so light. Like, you don't even feel it on at all. So, so light. This is a medium coverage. If you want more coverage, you can do more. You can do another layer, or depending on what uh, concealer you get, I always recommend get the concealer that matches your shade, or um, get the concealer that's a little bit lighter. So we're going to do, this is Scarlet. This is our lightest concealer. And I'm just literally just dab what's on here. I'm not going to do much of that. And I'm going to do this. And just that, it was already way more than enough. And I'm going to blend the edges. You can get the concealer that's exactly the same color of your foundation and mix it in. I know some ladies do the four drops and then one drop of the concealer and they mix it all together. You can do that if you have something to conceal. If you have blemishes or something that you want to conceal. If you're just trying to highlight under your eyes, then get a lighter shade. I always suggest get both. Get the one that matches your skin and one that's a little bit lighter. Because, like, for example, my foundation is Scarlet. My concealer over here is Scarlet. I mean, my foundation is Organza. My under eye concealer is Scarlet. But if I have a blemish, let's say, mm, see that little spot didn't completely cover. So I'm going to go and get my Organza concealer. That is the color of my foundation. And I'm going to just do that. And it's gone. Okay. How crazy is that? Seriously. Flawless 4. It's definitely, definitely a must. I always like to go in with anything that I have left on this brush. And just dab it in. Okay. Let's do this side, since we're already there. Um, and you know what? Let's try... Okay, so I did Organza here. I'm going to go in with Velour, which is a little bit more uh, yellow than Organza. I'm going to empty it out. Close it. Oh, I need primer. I still have a little bit here. You always, always want to make sure that you prime. Seriously, like, it's a must. Okay. We're going to do one. Oi, that was a big drop. Maybe I put, let me just wipe some off over here. Oh, let me wipe more off. I'm telling you, you do not need a lot of this. Our liquid to powder foundation is good for all skin types. Mm. 
Okay, so that's Organza. This is Velour. Okay, we're still gonna put our concealer. I really like to use ooh, a lighter shade. This is a uh, Scarlet. Kind of in an, in an inverted triangle right here. I know a lot of ladies are worried about color matching. You guys, these are completely different shades. And did you see, like, it just melts into your skin. I can't explain it. It just becomes one with your skin and you do not feel it at all. It's so crazy. Okay, so you see that? We're going to put some Organza concealer on there. And just dab away. All gone. All gone. Let me see if I can. How crazy is that? Seriously. Ah! So, again, same concealer if you have blemishes to hide. A lighter concealer if you want to highlight under your eyes. I still have to add bronzer. I definitely have to set my foundation with Behold. This is a must. This is our loose setting powder. It's brand new and it is amazing. It's like walking around with a filter on your face. It just kind of soft. You know what? Let's put it on right now. God, it's just that my brush is not here. It's okay. We'll just use any fluffy brush. We have an amazing brush that goes with it and it is amazing. So when you're using a setting powder, you definitely don't want to swirl. You just kind of dab it on. If you are the concealer baking gal, this is definitely the powder to do it with. It makes everything so amazing. It doesn't crease. It's awesome. That's it. That is it. Flawless four guys. Get it. This is a must. This is a must, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Don't be worried or scared about ordering online. I promise you, it's not, I mean, it's the first time that it's kind of scary, but it's not that big of a deal because you guys can see. I used Velour over here. I used Organza over here, and they both blend in well. Not only that, we have a uh, money-back guarantee, 14 days. If you don't like the product or you don't like the color, you can exchange it within 14 days. After that, they start uh, deducting a percentage, like, okay, well, now you get so much back or whatever, but I mean, 14 days is sufficient time for you to know, like, hey, this is awesome, or you know what, this is the wrong shade. So let me know if you have any questions. There's a color matching quiz you can take. Um, and then I'm definitely going to need a picture with no makeup um, in natural light so that we can confirm the color that the quiz gave you. And that is it. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Bye.